Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. Today the topic what we have taken to discuss is from the intermediate level which will help you to understand something beyond what we have been talking about till now which is about the customization of the script or dealing with some kind of additional information like you know dynamic data and so on which will help you to assist you prepare your script more proficiently and also assist you with creating certain set of information at any point of time. So the topic what we have for today's tutorial will be divided into two parts. The part one will give you the basic understanding how to deal with regular expressions and the part two will show you an application based example of that. So because it's going to be a lengthy I don't want to make the tutorial a longer one so I'm just breaking that into two equal halves. So if you're watching this tutorial do not forget to watch the part two as well. So Without wasting much time, let me just quickly give you a quick definition of regular expression. Thus are certain collections of uh, special characters put in a systematic form to handle the dynamic data from application. So generally applications certainly have certain dynamic data which are generated by the application which is not under the control of the human being or the tester. So say for example, it might be a transaction number, it might be a, a application ID, it can be the PNR of your flight or train ticket number. So any such thing which is systematically generated and it is dynamic cannot be held by user-defined value. So what we use is called as regular expression. So in this tutorial part one, we will be understanding what exactly regular expressions are and how do we write regular expressions. In part two, we will be understanding the usage of the regular expression in a real-time environment. So uh, without wasting much time of yours, let me get into a test here which will help you understand the same. So we are in a test right now and we are looking at the option. Generally you find the regular expression evaluator in the tools menu. Here is your regular expression evaluator. All you can do is click on that and here is the some kind of uh, pop-up or a dialog box which allows you to do certain activity about regular expression. So this is just like a calculator or evaluator which will tell you that what exactly your regular expression is, if it is correct or not. So say for example, uh, if I have to capture three digits which are being reflected in terms of dynamic value, then what is the regular expression do you write? So for beginners, you can just click on this button here, which will give you the list of all the possible regular expressions which can be used and what they mean in UFT. So if you see, there's a big list of all the regular expression and the format and syntax to be used for that. So, but I'll make your job easier by taking some quick examples. So generally, a regular expression starts with a backslash and then we have different notations. So we will be having digits, digits here. So let's go for this one that is backslash D, small d, which is any digit. And then the exact number of occurrence can be defined with the curly brackets. So let's go with a backslash small d, that is lowercase and a curly bracket opens. And as we know the exact occurrence of the digits, we specify the number of occurrence and we close the curly bracket here. And then we click on highlight to confirm if our regular expression is correct or not. Let's try with something else. Say for example, I'm trying with a you know, string, which is like a, a three, three, three character. <clears throat> Excuse me for that. So we use capital S for string and small s for white spaces, if you have space in between the text. So again, the curly brackets comes up. We put three, close the curly bracket, and highlight, yes, it is working. Now, how to get an error message? For example, if you have multiple and you try to highlight, you can see that only three will be highlighted as per the regular expression. So generally, if you are not getting the entire text being highlighted, that means your regular expression need to be modified. So let's go for four now and click on highlight. Yes, it is fine. Now what if it is a combined value? For example, I have uh, two digits, three characters, and then another two digits. Then let's do it this way, where we say backslash small d, which is for digit, curly bracket. There are two occurrence of that, close the curly bracket. The next regular expression should again start with backslash. backslash. And there you give capital S, curly brackets, three occurrence of the string, and then backslash again, which is the digits, 
and there are two occurrence of that. Now let's highlight this and see if it is working. Yes, ex exactly. So in case you go wrong with the numbers, if you go wrong with the format, you go wrong with the syntax, it will not highlight the text. So this is how you evaluate your regular expressions and you can deal with any of these listed things what you have, which will help you to uh, address any kind of issues. Now, let's try one more where we will be talking about space. So say, for example, I have a white space in between uh, the characters and the numbers. Let's highlight now. So if you see, it is white now. It's not highlighting. So let's insert a white space command that is backslash small s, which is for white space. And what is the occurrence of it? One. So if you don't specify the number of occurrence, by default, it takes one. If you want, you can still specify using curly brackets, but I want to show you that it can work without the curly bracket for just one occurrence by default. Highlight, yes it is. So the same applies for any regular expression, be it digit, string, space, or whatever it is, special characters, then if it is just one, you, can, you don't really have to define it. So you can go ahead with that, and then it can help you. Let's try with one more thing, which is called as dot and asterisk which is a universal command, and say highlight. So if you don't know the format, or you, you're stuck some time to create your regular expression, then you can use dot and asterisk as your regular expression. So I think there's a very tiny, but there's a dot and asterisk, which stands for any occurrence, any, any type of value. So it will, by default, highlight everything what is written here. So that means it can accept any value, any occurrence, is respective of what type of value it is. So this is a universal uh, regular expression combination that is dot asterisk, but subjected you really want to check the format, you want to cross check the number of digits, number of characters, this uh, regular expression is not recommended. So that's all from this video team. Uh, we just wanted to explain you about what is the regular expression evaluator, and now we will be using a real-time example in the next part of it to uh, make you understand how it can be used within the execution process and how where do we put this regular expression exactly. So there's a lot of things to explore more about regular expression in the upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Until then, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. That will just give you quick updates about the latest videos. And till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing the content. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.